Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Listen, y'all want to get high? Uh-huh. I got a high for you. I got a high that will never let your feet touch the ground. But here's the thing. You got to reach up for this one, y'all. You got to put a little effort in. Open your mouth wide. I'll tell you what to say and you'll get that high anytime you want it. Y'all want to have a little fun? You want to feel that joy stirring around? I'll tell you where you can get that joy. And you don't have to pay for it. It is absolutely free. Okay. Now, you want somebody to love you? Love you unconditionally. Love you with your faults and all your issues. Somebody that'll make you complete in their love. Oh, baby. I got a love for you. And I'll tell you where you can get it. But you got to sit there and listen to me. Now, this ain't going to cost you a dime. What I'm telling you ain't going to cost. Where I'm sending you ain't going to cost. And the one who has all that and the bag of chips will not charge you one iota of even an inkling of a penny. Absolutely free of charge. Now, if I tell you I got a hundred dollars and I get ready to put it in your hand, are you going to come and receive that hundred dollars or are you going to stand off and say, I don't believe in money? Really? Well, let me tell you this, you guys. The one that has that love. Is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And God the Son is the only door. So you have to walk through him to get to him. Do you hear what I'm saying? But you got to open your mouth. You have to open your mouth and ask God to come in to your heart. Ask Jesus into your heart. See what happens. All that love you've been looking for, all that high that you've been wanting to have, the high that doesn't leave you with a headache, a hangover, nauseous, or that sets you up for a drunk driving ticket. You don't get any of that, but you get the high. And the high doesn't leave you with a crash. <laughs> okay, you know where I'm going with this. It's obvious. You know where I'm coming from. But listen, stop looking all over the place for the very thing that only God has for you. I don't care how fine brother man is. I don't care how cute, how, hey, I don't care how tough that brother looks. He doesn't have it, baby. He has something. <laughs> Probably a little something, something you'd like to tap into, but. That is not the love you're looking for. And that love will never make you whole. I don't care how together he is. I don't care how wonderful he is. He will never make you whole. Because human beings cannot make another human being whole. That is a supernatural work and act of God. God created you. God is the only one that can recreate you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Now, the Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. It also says when God made man, he said, it is good. So listen, he didn't make a mistake when he made you. And yes, you went through hell probably with your family, your friends, some of the experiences you had. Somebody backstabbed you, used you, molested you, raped you, lied on you, mistreated you, blamed you for doing something you didn't do. Oh, girl, trust me, the list goes on. And listen, brother, man, I know she was fine as wine in the summertime, and she left you for another lover. But 
God will never do that to you. God will never tell you you're not a man. God will never tell you that you will never amount to anything. God will never tell you that line that parents often say, you just like your mama, you're just like your papa. God will never say that. Because if he tells you you're just like your father, it will be the highest compliment telling you that he sees himself in you. So I say all that to say, quit scratching, digging, picking your nose, digging up in, well, never mind, we won't go there. Quit doing all that mess and start looking in the right direction for the love you've been longing for. Just a breath away. Just a breath away. <gasps> Father, <sighs> come into my heart. I know I'm being a little sarcastic, but just a breath away, you guys. You don't have to hurt. You don't have to be miserable. You don't have to be hurting anymore. You don't even have to be angry. All those negative emotions that you have had to deal with all your life. Yeah, I had to deal with some of that too. But I found out that after I asked just a few questions, healing came. Deliverance came. Not only did I have to be stuck with me, but when God got through changing me, well, he didn't get through. Let's say when he, I would say maybe, uh, I won't even try to put a percentage on that because I'm still a work <clears throat> in progress. However, after seeing all the work he has done thus far, trust me when I say I am a new person. I am not the pitiful, uh, self-conscious, uh, insecure individual with self-hatred, intimidated, ashamed, uh, bashful. Oh my goodness, the list goes on. Um, angry, resentful. Uh, we all battle with a little selfishness, so I won't even touch that one. But I'm not as selfish as I used to be. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you. God will enable you to even get to know who you are. You won't walk around meandering through this life or this maze, as it were, feeling like one big question mark that never, ever gets answered. God is the way. I'm telling you, when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but by me. Listen, that is not all to it. Jesus is also the one that says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for I am Lo oh, what's the word? How, how does he say it? Basically, he's saying that he is the humble. He's meek. He's tender. He knows how to handle you. He knows how to handle your scars. A broken flax will he not break. He's not going to beat you down when you're already broken. He's tender. He's kind. He's gentle. And he loves you. He wouldn't have gone through all that mess on that cross. He wouldn't have let his own creation whip the skin off of his back if he didn't mean what he said. See, here's the difference with some things. Some people believe that you have to earn God's love. You have to earn his favor. You have to earn his presence in your life and, and all the things, the benefits that he has. No. God says, come to me. 
for the food that costs no money, for the love that costs no money. Everything you needed deep down within, I have it and it's absolutely free. That's what God says. Now you can't beat that deal with a stick. You can go to any dope deal, anybody you can get to. You cannot beat that deal. God is not going to beat you down if you don't perform the way he wants you to. He helps you. His love lifts. There's a song that says, love lifted me. Love lifted me. Ooh, I don't know if you ever heard it. Love lifted me. Love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. I was seeking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry and from the waters lifted me. Now safe am I. Only God can do that. I want to twist your arm, break it, uh, blackmail you and everything else just to get you or even bribe you <laughs> to get you to try the love of God. There is none other. The love of God, how rich, how pure. Ah, I can go from song to song, but God is love, you guys. Do yourself a favor. I mean, I want to beg you. I want to. I wish I was rich enough to pay you to try it. Please give God a try. You will never regret knowing Him. Now you may regret knowing some of the people who know Him, some of the people in church and all of that, because people are still a work in progress. I don't care from the from the pulpit to the door. Every one of us is a work in progress. But what your responsibility is, is to yourself to get to know God for yourself. Do you hear me? Get to know God for yourself, please. Do yourself that favor. I don't know what else to ask you. Say this prayer, Father. I mean, I get it all, but I ask you to forgive me for my sins, even the ones I don't even know I'm committing. Because sometimes some of our sins are sins of the heart. But anyway, or attitude. But we won't go there. Just pray. Lord, forgive me for my sins. That covers it. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, I ask you to heal my heart mind, body, soul, spirit, everything. And I accept the, your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and my Savior. And I pray all that in the name of Jesus. Lord, make my life worth living and send me help and reinforcement to help me walk this walk of faith that I don't even understand, that I'm not even convinced of. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, if you agree with that prayer, say, God, apply that prayer to me right now. In the name of Jesus, and I am eternally yours.